endometrial cancer and it will give you a very good overview about how to manage a case of endometrial cancer depending upon the stage of that of endometrial cancer okay but before that i would like you to open the book and to check the stages okay and um, if you look properly at the diagram and understand the stages of the endometrial cancer and memorize the stage wise uh, treatment of each and every um, type of the endometrial cancer then it would be very easy for you to solve any sort of the question in exam related to the specific stage so you have to memorize the stages okay so let us start this video um I have made a separate video for the um, endometrial cancer and its stages. You can open that and I will give you uh, the description of that video. I will give you the link in the description of this video. So what happens in stage 1? In stage 1, the tumor is confined to the uterus. Okay. Uh, in 1A, less than 50% of the myometrial invasion is there. So what we have to do in that case, TAH plus BSO. And that is in 80 to 90 percent of the cases. In 1B, as you know, it is there is more than 50 percent of the myometrial invasion. So what we have to do? TH plus PSO plus adjuvant radiotherapy. Now, a very important note that adjuvant radiotherapy is given in the high risk patient. Means usually in the grade three, when there is a deep myometrial invasion, cervical extension, serous, or the uh, clear cell histology. Okay, but um, when there is more than 50% of the myometrial involvement in, in the endometrial carcinoma and there, uh, in order to reduce the risk of the recurrence, we, we give adjuvant radiotherapy, but not in all the cases. What happened in stage 2? Stage 2, a tumor invades the cervical stroma. So what we have to do, uh, radical hysterectomy plus PSO plus pelvic lymphadenectomy in 60 to 70% of the cases plus adjuvant radiotherapy. Okay, and for that you can check the EBM. EBM is very good for uh, studying oncology. Okay, and uh, EBM um, third edition page eight seventy eight. You can study that the um, there is um, something written about stage two. Stage two disease could be treated the same as stage one disease by total uh, laparoscopic hysterectomy plus, uh, slash BSO or total abdominal hysterectomy slash BSO. Sometimes when there is obvious cervical stroma and involvement on imaging, the treatment options are modified radical hysterectomy, which is PIVR2, or radical hysterectomy with pelvic lymphadenectomy, which is PIVR3, or TH plus BSO with the lymphadenectomy followed by post-operative radiotherapy. However, lymphadenectomy and radiotherapy do not carry additional morbidity or lymphedema, mm -hmm. which can and develop years after the treatment. Now come to stage three, when there is local or regional spread of the tumor in 50 to 60 percent of the cases. In 3A, in which the tumor invades cervical serous or adnexa, we give new adjuvant chemotherapy followed by radical hysterectomy plus lymphadenectomy plus infracolic or mentectomy plus adjuvant radiotherapy. In 3B, the tumor invades vagina or parametrium, we give chemo radiation. In 3C1, positive pelvic lymph nodes are involved. We give chemo radiation. In 3C2, positive para aortic lymph nodes with or without pelvic no lymph nodes are involved. So, so we give chemo radiation as well. In stage 4, bladder or bowel mucosa or distant metastasis are involved. In 4A, there is invasion of the bladder or bowel mucosa. In 4B, we have intra-abdominal metastasis and or inguinal lymph nodes. So what is the treatment? Chemo radiation in 10 to 20% of the cases. Okay, now coming to a very important exam question. A patient of endometrial carcinoma had endometrial uh, endocervical gland involvement. What is the most appropriate management of choice? Now, as all of you know that endocervical gland involvement is in stage 2 and the treatment we have already studied. So, the uh, answer is that of the total abdominal hysterectomy plus BSO. Now, recurrent endometrial cancer. About that, something is written in EBM page 878. Okay, the role of the radiotherapy. Okay, there have been no randomized control trial comparing surgery and primary radiotherapy and women with intermediate or high risk early stage disease considered to be at increased risk of recurrence are often given post-operative adjuvant radiotherapy. Moderate and high risk patients include 1B, uh, G3, type 2, grade 3 and more than 50% of the uh, myometrial involvement that is in the stage 2. 
So come to the exam question. Patient with the 1C endometrial cancer, which of the following would prevent recurrence? The answer is that of the radiotherapy. Okay, so thank you so much. The, that was something about endometrial cancer. And I would um, give the questions in the community section of this uh, um, this channel. You can go to the community section of this channel and solve the questions related to the different topics. And uh, I will also give questions related to the endometrial cancer. Okay, thank you so much for your patience. Allah Hafiz. Yeah.